So guys, uh, in the last, last days, last weeks, we saw um, a position that there is a boy, we will show the position in this video. Uh, there is a boy in the US, uh, I think he's a purple belt in a tournament, on uh, Naga tournament. And we see that he does a, a, a beautiful wrist lock with the help of his, his lapel, okay? And people are so amazing, like, ah, oh, it's a new position, it's something new, wow. And guys, it's so old position. And I will show the video. Uh, I did this position in a tournament in Europeans, I think 2014. Uh, 15. Or, or 15, yeah, I'm, uh, I don't remember. But it's a very, very old position. I remember this position about 15, 20 years. I, I, I trained Jiu Jitsu almost 28 years, so. Um, but I think 20 years ago, we, we knew this position. I don't know where I learned this position, but I use a lot of this position. It's a very good position, but you see in the video that the guy, he does the position so bad that he turned twice, like it's almost impossible to do it without to break uh, uh, the wrist, but another guy didn't know what happened there. So let's change sides. So for example, okay, uh, uh, Haniel has a very good um, grip, okay? Maybe he trained judo and he loves his grip and he wants to use his grip for a, a, a good position. It doesn't matter, I break the grip and Haniel come back, okay? And I start to feel that he has a very good uh, grip. So instead to fight against uh, uh, his grip, I will use okay, uh, his grip against uh, Hanyo and try to do a very good wrist lock. But uh, if Hany watch me, okay, releasing my, uh, my, my lapel, if he knows a little bit Jiu-Jitsu, he needs to understand that I will use this. Okay, he will be ready for this. So this is the first mistake that the, the another boy that was competing did. He saw the guy, okay, taking out, okay, his lapel and he didn't do nothing. So I need to understand that something will happen the same side, watch. Okay, so I will take out my gi from my belt, but in a different situation. When I see that every time that I break the grip, and I break the grip one more time, okay, and honey, come back okay to this grip he won this grip doesn't matter what he wants to do but i know that he won this grip so this is the moment that i will start to think okay i can use sure i can think about in some seconds okay so first thing that i will do i will do my grip control his body and i will put my head close to his head because now it will be hard for honey uh understand what i am doing here so i will take out my lapel and start to work with my lapel. So I grab my lapel with my thumb, okay, to, in the direction of the floor. If I grab my lapel very, very, very uh, uh, far from the collar, will be too, um, uh, you have too much space. If I grab too close, will be so tight that it will be hard for me to do the position. So I will try to find a place that I feel comfortable, okay, to work, to turn my hand, okay? And the idea here when I grab with my thumb in the direction of the floor is that I will move my arm, so I will bring very, very, very high, okay? And I will move and pass, okay, my, my elbow inside. If I pass my elbow inside, when I turn, he is already tapping. So you see the mistake that the, the guy does, that he turn here and start to go. You see, honey doesn't feel nothing. And man, he will release. The other boy didn't release because he really doesn't understand what happened. If we do Jiu Jitsu, normally people know what we are doing in a, in a competition level, okay? So good grip, good grip. I try to break, I try to break, okay? And, and honey will come back. So I will start to put my head on his shoulder so he doesn't watch and understand very well what I am doing. I lift my elbow, I go inside very deep, and I start to turn my body. Normally when I'm here, honey's stepping already. 
but the best thing that I need to do is grab his pants. Because when I grab his pant, he cannot turn. Okay? I keep, uh, he's stepping already, okay? So one more time. Honey need to roll, okay, in the opposite direction. Okay, I'm turning my body in to out. Honey need to go in the same direction and roll over to escape. So, one more time. Good grip, thumb to the floor. I pass my elbow, watch what honey will do. It jumps, normally he falls, no problem. No problem, he will fall, he escape, okay? But I have the takedown. In this situation, if I stop here, honey will be able to release his arm. It's not so easy, but he can release his arm, but I have two points, I'm on the floor, and I keep it controlling the fight. Another situation that I want to finish the fight on the floor, if it's really tight. One more time, I release and I go inside, okay? See, I squeeze my elbow and honey jumps. When I fall, guys, I don't watch to his body, okay? I turn to the opposite direction, you see, guys? So I turn my body to this side, because if I watch to his ribs now, I release his arm. So I can control and have side control, but I lose submission, okay? So, uh, come on, honey. So you see in the video that the guy turned twice, man, crazy. How can you give to someone to control your wrist and go inside and you give to the guy do one more time? Man, you don't need it, okay? And, and, and it's, it's not real to a, a high level Jiu Jitsu, brown belt, black belt, okay? So you need to finish in the first move, okay? Nice guys, I hope that you enjoy.